When it's not treated, schizophrenia can have a devastating effect for both the person experiencing it as well as their family and friends. Symptoms can include hearing voices, jumbling up speech and having unusual beliefs. It can even alter a person's emotions so that they start to respond differently and sometimes unusually to people and situations. These symptoms can cause people with schizophrenia to withdraw from their family and friends, leaving them feeling alone and isolated. Other areas of a person's life can be affected too, and it can be difficult to hold down a job or to find somewhere suitable to live. Research shows that drug and alcohol misuse is also more common in people with schizophrenia compared to people who don't have a mental illness. Schizophrenia is a type of mental illness that causes an imbalance of important chemicals in the brain. This imbalance changes the way a person thinks, feels and acts, making it difficult to continue with everyday activities. We still don't know exactly what causes schizophrenia in the first place. Some people's genetics may contribute to their risk of schizophrenia, but other factors such as experiences during childhood and as a teenager may also have a role to play. People who use drugs such as cannabis and amphetamines are also more likely to develop schizophrenia. Research shows that people with schizophrenia lose brain tissue over time. This brain tissue is called grey matter. As grey matter is lost, the brain gradually becomes smaller, something that can't be reversed. Studies also show that the more brain tissue that's lost, the worse a person's schizophrenia can become. We know that only about 15% of people are cured of their schizophrenia five years after their first episode. This means that while some people only experience symptoms caused by schizophrenia only once in their lives, for many others diagnosed with schizophrenia, it's a lifelong condition. For these people, as symptoms get worse, it means they are experiencing a relapse so that their schizophrenia is starting to affect their life again. Relapses often need to be treated in hospital and this can cause a major upheaval to a person's life. Even after recovering, it can be very difficult to get back to normal again. So that things like work, relationships and quality of life are disrupted for a long time. In fact, research shows that with every relapse, recovery becomes more and more difficult. So that eventually, certain aspects of a person's life, such as their ability to interact socially, may be permanently affected. We also know that the more relapses a person experiences, the more brain tissue or grey matter they're likely to lose. Continuing to receive medication as it's been prescribed can help protect someone from experiencing relapse because it reduces and even eliminates symptoms. Staying well means that a person can continue to work or study, can live independently, and can enjoy their relationship with family and friends. Also, the, the medication has allowed me to be able to engage in things like work as a musician. Um, of course, the, the uh, presentations I make with the, with the Remind program. The best results are often achieved by combining emotional and social support usually as some form of professional therapy with medication. Support from family and friends is also really important. I'd have to say medication has been the most reliable treatment over the years. I've taken a number of different medications from the older ones to the newer ones. My current regime has been over the last 12 years or so. Being diagnosed with schizophrenia doesn't have to affect your life negatively in the long term. Combined with emotional and social support, continuing to take the medication you've been prescribed is the best way to stay well and reduce the risk of experiencing relapse. And then you can get on with living. <laughs>